My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. I wanted to be a landscape photographer. But with a family to feed and bills to pay, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. It was time to follow my passion. Come along on my journey to become the best black and white photographer I can be. Whether it be film or digital, I will be sharing what I learned through my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is Bright in the Edge. working on this covered bridge project for a while. I've had some of these shots, some of these shots I've done a long time ago. And uh, some of them are newer. I've always had this kind of uh, interest in covered bridges for some reason. It might just be because we have quite a few around where I live. So I thought I'd do a zine on one. I, I may be the only person that's interested in that subject matter. It's quite a bit different than the nature stuff I do, in a way. It's, it's still kind of landscape photography, but, but with, uh, with a structure, with a subject, with a historic subject matter. So right now I'm focusing on covered bridges for my area. And if there's an interest in this, uh, in this scene, and it's not just for me, I may consider doing the rest of the state. There's still quite a few more spread all over the state that I could make a, another volume of, the, of this scene or actually put it all in a book. A spider on me. I really do enjoy it, so traveling to uh, places a little further away to, to make these images would be kind of fun too. So we'll see. If, if there's interest, I'll, uh, I'll do some more of these, these images. I may take these these that are in this scene and, and, and roll them over into a book with uh, the rest of the uh, cover bridges in the state. That's what's great about these zines is it lets you try out ideas and and see uh, if there's enough there for if, if the idea is solid enough for something longer than just the zine. Well you may have noticed that I am shooting both film and digital in this project. Now, well, you you have a keen eye, because yes, that's what that's what I'm doing. So lately, I've been thinking I'm. I think I've been kind of falling into that trap of letting my gear or my choice of film or digital 
define me as a photographer. And I think that's a big mistake. I started thinking about this project and going through my images, and I realized that I had a pretty good assortment of film and digital kind of mixed all together. That kind of reflects how I shoot. Now, my heart would love to shoot everything with film. <laughs> I, I really love to shoot film. But my head says, I want the best possible image quality and I want to use the, the gear and, and uh, the best camera to meet that goal. So I don't think I'll ever be able to just pick one. I know that's kind of uh, not in fashion right now. There seems to be a lot of people that identify themselves with a certain type of camera, a certain format, whether it's film or digital. <laughs> it's, I, I find that a bit odd, really, because it's all photography. The reason I shoot film isn't because I think it's cool or fashionable. I shoot film because I'm doing black and white photography and I still feel that I get my best results with film. It's subtle, but I just really love the tones. It's, it's such a rich, has such a rich tone. It's, it's really hard to put my finger on it. And it could be I just edit my film scans better than I edit my digital files. Maybe I just need to work on it more. But at this point, I still feel like I get better black and white images tonally with film. But there are a lot of times where shooting film just isn't practical, especially since I'm now shooting 4x5. And there are times where digital is just the way to go. And it's not that I think the quality of my images when I shoot digital are bad. I just feel like there's just something a little bit special about the film, about the film images. I know it's easy to be wrapped up in the process of photography. But I don't want to let what I shoot with define me as a photographer. In the end, the only thing I want to define me as a photographer are the images I've made. So until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.